you've been out of the house for a little over a week now, uh, and you have since learned that had you taken Turner, maybe the results had been a little bit different. Can That's you right. talk to me about this process? Like, how do you work through your decision and the results? Yeah. Um, well, Sarah, thank you for taking the time to to talk to me today. But um, I think with my decisions, I, I always look at what could I have done with the information that I had. And I felt like I made the best decision with the information that I had. Um, you know, my perspective on what the jury would value uh, with me sitting next to Turner versus me sitting next to Taylor was that if I sat next to Turner, it would be a lot more of a closer argument just game wise as far as how many big threats he's taken out us being a part of similar alliances. So it'd just be a battle of who's taking credit for what, you know what I mean? Um, whereas with Taylor, I thought that maybe I could just speak more to my resume and emphasizing that part of my game and thinking that that would, you know, be of more value to the jury, but completely underestimated the journey she's been on in this house. And I found out more <laughs> after being out of the house about that journey and, um, and what she's had to go through in the house. So to me, it, it was just something that I didn't have that information on. So are you able to give Brittany any credit for maybe, you know, making it seem so scary to sit next to Turner or Taylor for sort of minimizing her threat level? Or was it your misread? You know, I think there is a point where um, I'm talking to Brittany and Taylor about Turner. And I think they did a great job of emphasizing how much of a threat he was in the house um, if I were to sit next to him. So that could have been a huge influence on my decision making. Um, I also thought too, like, even if it weren't for that, if I'm looking at the jury, you know, what do they care about based off of what I've heard from them? You know, a mm -hmm. lot of super fans in the jury who respect a lot of game players in the past, um, folks like Tyler, who won second place during his season, but people said, oh, man, he had a great game that he played that year. Um, folks like Paul, you know, people that didn't necessarily win, who they respected their game for. Those were a lot of the people that I heard um, were, you know, favorites in the jury. So I, I just thought that that's what they would value, to be honest. But I will give credit if Taylor and Brittany were trying to, you know, push that narrative they did a great job because I I, I, I believed it. <laughs> right. Well, I feel like Terrence's vote was the most surprising. Have you spoken to him about it? Yeah, yeah, I have. Um, it definitely was a surprising vote um, just because of how vocal he had been to me and probably to everybody in the house about how he felt about Taylor. Um, and I think that for me as well, I thought about how you know, the the momentum, I guess, of, you know, everything that had been happening in jury that I wasn't aware of, maybe picked up and, and maybe he caught wind and and felt as if he had a changed perspective now that he's seen, you know, the other side of the story for Taylor. So um, I did catch up with him a little bit. We didn't talk too much about the vote because I'm not too pressed about why people did one thing or another. Um, that's not going to change the results. So I, I like to live in the present and think about the future as much as I can. Well, evicting Turner sounded like it was, you know, your next big move after mm -hmm. taking out Michael. Did you think about taking him out at Final Four at all? The thought did cross my mind, but I always looked at what's going to give me the best chance at survival for the following week, right? Like it to me, for some reason, I just worked on a week by week basis when it came to surviving in the house. So I was like, all right, in order for me to set myself up to to stay in a final three or to stay in a final two, who are the people who are more than likely to take me there? And I thought that Taylor and I had the most trust in the house. Turner and I had a similar amount of trust as well. So to me, I thought, OK, well, if I evict Turner, I could be losing a jury vote there. And then also. I could be uh, putting a lot of pressure on myself to win every competition, because if I don't win those competitions, then I'm out of here. So, you know, at that point, I felt like Turner was sort of my shield um, throughout the game because Brittany and Taylor mentioned how much they would want to evict him over me mm -hmm. any day. So um, sure. that's what made sense to me. Mm -hmm. And was there ever a moment, though, that you thought about taking Brittany to final two as someone maybe you could easily beat? Yeah, I thought early on um, that would be a potential because I felt as though 
you know, with, with her position in jury and, you know, the relationships that she had, I thought that I would definitely get more votes than her on that front. Um, but it didn't necessarily play out that way because I think I started to see very clearly that Brittany had intentions of either evicting me or evicting Taylor, which I thought, okay, that means that if she's put in that position, you know, one of us can go home just like that. Right. So carrying her even further, um, you know, or not caring, but bringing her along even further, I just felt like wouldn't be beneficial because again, it would be put more pressure on me to win every competition. And I just didn't want to do that. Now, during your week 10 HOH, they wake you guys up early, middle of the night for this veto. I, you don't make it down there. What happened? Oh, Sarah, why we got to talk about old stuff? Uh, well, no, 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 it's completely fine. Um, yeah, in that moment, uh, I, I don't know if people really know me from watching maybe the live feeds and whatnot. I typically wake up pretty early on my own accord. I don't do well with being woken up in the middle of the night. I think I woke up and I heard some noises around, you know, this cuckoo, cuckoo, and this German accent. And I just thought it was like some sort of competition that would happen later on in the day. I wasn't mm. processing that it was happening right now and I had two minutes. So I get up to use the bathroom. I'm about to put on my contacts, you know, I'm 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 taking my sweet time. And then all of a sudden I hear, Monty, get downstairs, you know, you got five seconds. And I was just like, oh, we gotta go right now. So it was just a complete misjudge um, on my end. Um, so they I weren't really counting you down like the whole time? You weren't fully aware they of the were, time limit? Was, I didn't hear the voice of production in that moment. I heard mm -hmm. that German voice. So I thought it was like, okay, they're doing this for, you know, there's a yeah. lot of production stuff that happens in the house. So I'm thinking that this is maybe a skit or something or a take. <laughs> And I'm like, okay, we'll do this again later on. Mm -hmm. But it was happening right then and there. And uh, being in the HOH room didn't help because I was the only one in there. I had the bathroom right there. I'm I'm making no excuses. I uh, dropped the ball on that one. I wish I would have <laughs> played in that comp. <laughs> <laughs> now, the week before that, when uh, Michael was HOH, and you and Turner and you and Taylor, I mean, there had been talk about needing to take Michael out. Mm -hmm. But then all of a sudden, you and Turner made this gentleman's agreement to to sort of protect Michael or, or to stay together, protect each other and take the ladies out. What was going on here? Were you really intending to do that for a minute? You know, uh, it would have been hard for me to say then and now that that was a real thing from my viewpoint. You know, I think Turner at the time, he proposed it because Brittany had come up to him saying that he wanted or she wanted to take out Michael. Then he went to Michael. Then he went to me after he talked to Michael. So, yeah, I felt like it was more of a, you know, Turner sort of trying to figure out like how he can take the target off of his back with Michael and form some sort of pitch for why Michael doesn't need to target the two of us, which I thought was helpful. I was like, hell, you know, that sounds good. Um, but whether I was going to, you know, commit to that myself it felt hard to do that because then we'd pretty much be setting ourselves up for second and third place. Cause Michael, I mean, he won every damn competition by such large margins. He is literally the best big brother competitor I've ever seen. And, I, and maybe I'm biased cause I saw it happen and he was beating my behind, but mm -hmm. uh, I think he has got to be one of the best that has ever played. Have you watched much of the season back? And is there anything that sort of surprised you or maybe now makes sense to you? No, I have not. I think I've seen uh, maybe the first episode, a little bit of it. And then I saw the double eviction night episode because I just I had to see what it looked like for me to win that veto. Like I just I remember the moment and how fast and chaotic things were. But my word, Sarah, if you were in that moment, it felt like complete and utter chaos. So for me being um, able to watch like how it was edited, I thought that that was fun. Were you throwing any comps early on? <laughs> you know, it's so funny, Sarah. Like, I, I'm sure people think that, especially just given, you know, my physique and, you know, like uh, what, what people believe I'd probably be capable of. But those cops, I'm telling you, th those things are not easy. They're not made for just the strongest, the fastest, the most agile. Like every cop has its very unique uh, skill sets that are needed. Um, like Pie Fest, my word. I, I mean, I, I'm not good at eating pies. Like I, I barely eat them. And trying to find like a, 
uh, a little foam tea at the bottom of this this pie was almost impossible for me. So, no, I, I did not. I truly tried <laughs> in every competition, which I wish I could tell you I did throw them because maybe it'd make me look cooler. But no, I uh, I tried in every comp that that there was, and you know sometimes I came up short, and sometimes I came through when I needed to. All right. Well, thank you for your time today, Monty. Thank you, Sarah. Take care.